I had a few people who were having trouble with making check buttons in TKenter, so I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to give you a check button example. Create a check button that you can mess with. <coughs> uh, this information is just always lovely. And I could, if I wanted to, pull up the exact thing using n thought canopy blah 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 and that would be best practice <laughs> helps hit the right keys now the first thing I need to do is to import TK enter we'll, yeah make it so that I can use it so I'm gonna import all of TK enter if I just say import TK enter, it won't pull some of the pieces that I want. And I'm going to set my root to TK. Now remember, to make it show, I also have to have my main loop function. Like that. So it's good, kind of good practice to make that at the beginning so that you don't forget to do it later. Now I like to give my thing a name. A title up at the top makes me happy. So I'm calling it from the root, which is TK. Um, title, I'm going to call my title check button. Ha ha ha. Ooh. I could have used either, but they need to be the same. Now, um, I'm going to create a canvas. Now you don't need to create a canvas, it's not necessary, but I'm going to do it just to help since this is, this is an example for you. I'm going to set my canvas equal to, I'm going to call it draw pad. I could call it Steve, I could call it whatever, but draw pad is nice. I'm going to call it from the root, which remember up in line 9 is TK, so that's going to say how it's going to make it, otherwise it's not going to work. And this is how I set my background. Default is white. Well, I thought it would be nice to have a reminder. And now that I have my variable created, I can draw a method on it. I'm going to draw the method grid. I'm going to set it in row 0, column 1. And everything is beautiful. Just spread this out, it makes it look pretty. Okay, now I've got my canvas. I'm going to create a button by my canvas. Just like I did with the canvas up here, I'm going to set it equal to a variable. Anything that works, works. I'm going to call it Mr. McButton. This isn't really a button, of course. This is a checkbox. Now, I'm going to use the check button but i am got to call that from somewhere, and if you'll recall, I set TK to the root. Now I could set my text. Um, this is the text that's going to go by the button. So I'm going to just say on if checked. Coming down to the next line big mistake people make is forgetting this comma. Probably the biggest, most common one I've seen. Now I need to give it a variable. So when it gets checked, or if it's not checked, it triggers this variable. So I'm going to call that variable button checked. It will have a value of 1 if it is checked, and 0 if it's not. I could change that if I want by hitting the on value, so when it is checked, equals 6 or 187 or whatever but its default is 1 and I like that so I'm gonna leave it alone It makes sense on is 1 off is 0 and I'm gonna make it call a method too so that's what this does this triggers a, a method and then because I have this I need to place it somewhere and since I've called it Mr. McButton I call the grid function on it, and I'm going to place it in, let's see, I'll place it in row 3 in column 0. Prettify it. 
Now, I've got my button, but what I don't have is the variable here, and I don't have this command part. So let's start by making the variable. Just so I don't get confused, I'm going to come up here to the top. I'm going to create the variable for the check button. Remember I called it button checked. I did that right here, set the variable equal to button checked. So I need to call my variable button checked. You could call it something else if you like. But for TK enter, remember I have to say that it's it's an integer. So button checked equals int var that creates the variable. Now I need to set it, set its default. And I do that. Once it's created, I can call a method on it, so I'm gonna set it. I'm gonna set it for zero. So it's automatically unchecked. So now I've got my variable. I've got my variable. <laughs> now I need to create this function definition. I'm going to do that up above. If I don't do it before I start method messing with it down here, if I don't call the function first, it's going to tell me that TK enter um, is not defined or isn't existing or something like that. So if you're getting that problem, then that's why. Now, make sure I do this right. Define checked so if the variable that I set, which is button checked, and I need to get it. I don't just do button checked equals. I do button checked and then I get that global variable if it is equal to 1, so if the thing is on, then then what? Tell you what, I will create a editor that will demonstrate it. And I'll call that editor editor, because it makes my life easy. I could have called it Steve or Bob or look at what I did, but editor is nice. So I'm going to insert the value at the end, I'm going to insert the words, it works. And then I'm going to go down to the next line so that it doesn't look stupid. So then I'll make it so we'll see it there at the end. Now I need an else here if I have an if. I don't absolutely have to have an else, but what if it's not checked? So if it's not checked, I'll have it insert the same command but not select it. Now that'll work. So there's my there's my function definition. So you could see it's uh, you could see what it's going to do. Now last but well and least because you probably don't need an editor to just make sure that it works. But I'm gonna do it because it makes my life easy. Oh, I could have printed it, I guess, to the uh, to the canvas that I already created, but whatever. I called my editor, editor, and now I'm saying that it's going to be a text box. Give it some values. And now that I've created it, I can call the grid function on it and place it. Now well, let's do four. Oh, row plus two. Dang it. Row equals two, column equals four, and I'll make it span two rows. All right, so now that we've got this, if we run it, it brings it up. It's on if checked. Oh, so it works. Yay. No, it's not selected. Now it works. Now it's not selected. Beautiful. All right, so that's how you do it. Hopefully you can adapt that program to what you want.